scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Rise and shine, the light is come. See the glory of the Lord is risen. Hallelujah. Insight, understanding, direction, life is showing forth. The Bible says that we have been called out of darkness into his marvelous light. We, we should show forth. Comes from the Greek word doxazo, a display of the degree of a king's splendor. Hallelujah. It was the custom of kings in ancient times that when they achieved certain feats, they will call people to come and celebrate with them. This was the case with King Ahasuerus. And so he brought them to come and see his provinces. This year, may the Lord make you an object of praise. That he will use you as a testament of what he can do with a man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you have all of this, then you can now become the light. You can now become the light. What does it mean to become the light? It means to become a standard. It means it, it, to become a pattern. To become a reference. Hallelujah. That when they are looking for a genuine, authentic Christian, you can be a reference. Matthew 5, from verse 14 to 16. Matthew 5 verse 14 to 16. The Bible says, you are the light. Matthew 5, you are the light of the world. The light of this system, cosmos. You are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden. That means whatever has covered your light this year must give way. You are a city set on a hill and cannot be hidden. Verse 15. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket. He said, but on a lampstand and it will give light. Because of you, many people, you will be like the ark of Noah that incorporated. There are people who are not even born again, but because of your presence, the, the, the span of your light will cover certain people. There are many of our loved ones that need us. Without us, they may die. And the Bible says it gives life to all who are in the house. Verse 16. Let, permit your light. Let it so shine. Before who? Not before trees. God wants your light. That which he has made you become. He wants it to shine before men. That they may see your good works. And glorify your father in heaven. Hallelujah. So as an individual, you will become a standard this year. That you will be a portrait of a balanced Christian. Holy, prosperous, healthy. Genesis 24 verse 1. It says, and Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And God had blessed him in all things. All things. All things. This is the year we will contend for every part of our life. To look like the image of the Christ. Hallelujah. You must contend. Not that you'll be prosperous and be sickly. Not that you'll be healthy 
No, no. Every area of your life. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your heaven, your Father in heaven. As a ministry, this is our prophetic destiny. The standard. Isaiah 49 verse 6. Oh, I believe this with all my heart. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from your throne and the earth will hear. Send your word from your throne and the earth will hear my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god take my praise oh god Take my praise, Lord, my worship is calling you, oh God, my worship is calling you, hallelujah, God gave me this specific word, I shared it with the leaders, this is what God is going to be doing with us. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant. This is what we have been doing. To raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. But this is the new mandate. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles. He says that thou mayest be my salvation. Not bring it, be it. You will become a representation of my salvation even to the ends of the earth it says you have been faithful raising people training people building people i now measure a thousand cubits and i increase capacity he said i will also in addition to what you are doing i will give you as a light i will give you as a light unto the gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation to the ends of the earth this is what God is going to do this year. And then he will bring us through this light into a realm of dominion. Rulership. Let me show you one very powerful scripture. Zechariah 1.21 Dominion means absolute control. It means rulership. Sovereign authority. The ability to be in charge and to be in control. Hallelujah. This dominion is not just dominion over men. But dominion over first the forces of darkness. Are you getting my point? Then said I, what come this to do? Amplify it please. Can we have amplified? Then said I, What are these horns and smiths coming to do? And he said, These are the horns or powers that have scattered Judah. Judah means praise. There are horns that have stopped families from laughing. There are horns that have kept people down. He said, So that no man lift up his head. There are families and destinies where no man has been able to lift up his head no marriage no joy no prosperity no increase their spiritual lives dead he said but these smiths or workmen have come to terrorize them these are the carpenters that god is sending hallelujah he says they have come to terrorize to cause them to be panic stricken to cast out the horns or powers of the nations 
who lifted up their horns against the land of Judah. This is the year you will see the practical displacing of Satan. It will be a contention of light over darkness. Once and for all, the devil will give up over your life and your family. Please believe it. Please believe it. This is what dominion is all about. It's not about being commander-in-chief and telling people, come and clean my chair. This is foolishness. Dominion is the ability to be a light. Hallelujah. He said, those in Nepta and Zebulun have seen a great light. A great light has come to them. Distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us so there are horns remember our teaching give me this mountain brothers and sisters upon every mountain there are giants there is a spiritual dimension to this life hallelujah people do not just sit just succeed or or experience breakthroughs and increase but this year by the grace of god we will arise because our light has come and we will compel darkness to bow and all of these horns that have terrorized people and families they will give way. One scripture, Psalm 110. Psalm 110, sorry, 110, verse 2. A popular scripture. We'll read it together. 110, verse 2. Let's read, it's projected. It says, The Lord shall send the rod what is that rod thy rod and thy staff they comfort me hallelujah that rod is the holy spirit because the holy spirit is the comforter he said the lord will send a dimension of the holy spirit that will open men to light and on account of that he said rule thou not in their absence rule thou in the midst of your enemies Many of you, your parents have not gone to the village for years because they know when they go, they will die. You are the one who will go and say, let me see the devil. Rule thou. Rule thou. This is the year you speak to somebody and say in the name of Jesus, let that barrenness be over and it leaves at once. This is the year somebody will come and lie down on your bed and get filled with the Holy Spirit and just get up born again filled with the Holy Spirit somebody takes tea in your house and goes back and unending breakthroughs because they just contacted light the Bible says the light shines in darkness rule thou the Lord will send the rod out of Zion see let me tell you your blessing is not authentic until your family members participate in it this selfish Christianity of chop alone, where it, the, the kingdom doesn't work that way. As for me and my... Hallelujah. I went home and I saw dramatic levels of breakthrough in my house. I said, that's right. This is exactly how it should be. Hallelujah. The devil will be under your feet. Hallelujah. This is why we are teaching because the bible says we should do this but hebrews chapter 2 tells us that we do not yet see all things remember our scripture let's look at it hebrews 2 verse 6 to 8 that's why we need light to enforce our dominion hebrews 2 but one in a certain place testified saying what is man that thou art mindful of him or the son of man that thou visitest him seven thou hast made him a little lower than elohim and crowneth him with glory and honor. Thou didst set him over how many? All the works of your hands. 
That means nobody can use what was created to do enchantment against me. The Bible says I've been given authority. How can a man use stone or use goat or animal and then make incantations? I pity the man that will call my name in a shrine. This is the year it will catch fire, both the herbalist, the person who brought it. The Bible says Dagon fell. Dagon fell in the Bible. He has given him authority over all the works. All the works. Hallelujah. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all things in subjection under his feet, he left nothing that is not put under him. But this is a dilemma. I said, but now we do not yet see all things. Are you seeing why light is important? Without light, there's no dominion. You can claim it, but it may not work. It says the reality now. So it speaks to us about God's perspective. That this is what has been done. But right now, today, we do not yet see all things under his feet. But when light comes, it will grant us access to rule in the day and to rule in the night. Hallelujah. You believe this? These are the mighty things. That God is going to do. Nigeria. The Lord revealed a few things to me. I'm not a prophet. But God speaks to me. And the Bible says. That which I tell you in the secret place. Declare down on the mountain top. We need to pray for our government. I saw a lot of political chaos. In fact. A lot of chaos. Hallelujah. We need to pray. A lot of chaos. We need to pray for the president that his life be preserved. Hallelujah. And then the Lord showed me. I saw another terrorist group. That is even greater than Goko Haram. Hallelujah. And they will begin to be pronounced again and again. And this is the wickedness that the devil wants to bring. This will not just be Nigeria, across the entire sub Saharan Africa. Because it's an agenda. There is only one resistance to all of this. God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I saw so many things. I told you last year. Or in 2007. The Lord told me. If you can remember. I said an economic recession was going to come and hit the world in a very great way. That was when I began to talk of massive kingdom wealth transfer. In 2008. I said this is the year. And when it happened, I said again that this is the first one. Another one is coming. And the Lord told me this year, the economic recession will hit again for the second time. You can't pray against it. You can only exempt yourself. It's a written judgment. Hallelujah. It's going to happen. Very chaotic. It will humble the government of nations. Hallelujah. It will humble people a lot. Nigeria is going to begin to come to the lamb light, especially in terms of economics. Last year I said that Nigeria was going to lead Africa in terms of economic empowerment. Go and read the newspaper, it has happened. With over about 400 billion or so ahead of South Africa. This is happening. God himself is bringing all of this. And there will be such a manifestation of deliverance in Nigeria this year this thing called deliverance you will see it in dramatic ways it will no longer just be in churches because of light and enlightenment hallelujah deliverance it will look like an object of mockery but don't you criticize it because it's the preparing ground for the birthing of something powerful I told you about Ghana South Africa and Nigeria Nigeria is going to it's going to do a lot of 
mighty, mighty exploits this year. Forget about all the stories that people are saying. God is faithful. Hallelujah. I also see that the Lord revealed to me a number of things. We have to pray against death for many, not families here, but generally in the country. We have to pray against death. Hallelujah. And I saw one of the things that the enemy is doing is infecting people with incurable diseases. This one is no longer just, hallelujah, diseases that medical science may not even be able to detect. You just see people just dying. Hallelujah. I don't know when it will happen, but I will keep announcing it. I saw the death of somebody who was once a president in this country. Hallelujah. I had seen this two years ago. I was there in a vision. I saw his obituary. And every new year, God keeps reminding me. I honestly don't know when it will happen. But let's watch and see. Hallelujah. And God is going to be doing great things. This year, we will experience levels of financial prosperity. Write it. Write it, please. Write it. I'm not just talking. Write it. It's one of the things God specifically told me. Specifically. If you don't believe it, no problem. You can believe the other things that we have. But yes, there will be an avalanche of wealth and prosperity. Praise the Lord. We need to pray against death. I saw a lot of ABU lecturers dying. A lot of ABU lecturers dying. This thing started last year. I began to caution this thing. A lot of ABU lecturers, especially professors. We need to pray because it's a demonic thing. It's not just normal. No. It's a very demonic thing. I saw a lot of academic exploits too this year. A lot of mighty academic exploits. Please believe me. Believe me. Recovery, restoration for people. Especially people who have been praying. I want us to pray so I'll just hurry up. I'm just, I don't want to forget anything. Marriages, miracle, mighty, mighty marriages. I saw this one. It was so much I was surprised. Honestly, I saw marriages I was scared. Trust me. We will all live to see it. I don't mean here, Koinonia. Mighty, mighty marriages. Yes. How could I have skipped it? I saw a lot of marriages. Including those who did not even plan it. Yes, I saw surprises. Except, except, look, let me tell you, thank God we'll all be alive to see it. You will see people who did not, it was not part of their goal in January, but the hand of God will move. Just leave God to do what he wants to do. It's a year of light and dominion. That's why God said, can two walk together? Listen, listen. And this is the scripture the Lord told me. When Abraham took Isaac for sacrifice, there was no lamb yet. But he said, just go Jehovah Jireh. God will provide. And the Bible says, listen, when the obedience of Abraham was tested, he said, just go across. There is a lamb. On the second time when Jesus needed to enter the city, he said, go to a city called Straight. You will see a coat that no man had ridden on it. Tell them the master has need of it. Believe it. I love saying things before they come to pass. Hallelujah. 
as a ministry we will experience levels of expansion and impact i saw it a lot levels of expansion i saw a lot of people getting blessed from niger niger republic i don't know what it is about that place but i saw so many people from the teachings niger republic so blessed i mean it was a wildfire it was causing a wildfire especially among the young people hallelujah so many other miraculous things that the lord showed me we will discuss it as we come as as the year um another oh i remember i must say it i saw something that shocked me well let me just say it still about prosperity I was taken in a vision and I remember I was standing in front of this church this the the Equa church and I looked and I saw an array of cars in my mind listen listen in my mind I was saying uh -uh, a lot of cars right from that place down and I was I was I was wondering I said, Lord, what is all this one again? This is amazing. This is what you are going to do for families and for people. And many of them will be gifts. It will not be something that someone will buy. Gifts. Gifts. I believe. I believe. Lord, I Lord, I believe, I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, I believe. lot of dramatic manifestations of miracles signs wonders in a scale that will shock you families I saw a lot of unbelievers I saw a lot of Muslims coming here I saw a lot of some of our family members that vowed that they will never come here you watch them by themselves you don't need to by themselves the mighty things that God will do. Mighty things. Mighty things. In the rain, in the sun. Hallelujah. These great things that God will do. Hallelujah. Do you believe these things I'm sharing? Hallelujah. God will do this. For the glory of his name. Praise the Lord. I wanted to say it to him personally, but Bishop, I saw you driving a Camry, write it. Brown Camry. I've been struggling to tell him. God will bring a lot of prosperity, even in the house. You know, we had been planning for just one boss. You will be amazed. To see what God will do this year. Amazed. Amazed. Not just because of Project 10,000. Hallelujah. See. The Bible says. When Jesus was born. Some people saw the light. And they started coming with their gifts. They came with gold. They came with frankincense. They came with man. And the Bible says they started looking for that star. Nothing would deter them until they found the baby and they began to drop the gift. Watch out and see dramatic manifestations. People would just be sleeping and God would just wake them and say, Come and bless the house of God. Come and bless the work of God. Hallelujah. And I saw this spilling over to many families. Even restoration. 
restoration supernatural restoration hallelujah very quickly so we'll pray a few resolutions that i want you to adopt this year a few resolutions you need to make up your mind on some things it's not enough to shout amen he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you war a good warfare with the prophecies that have been spoken unto you so when prophecy comes the bible says a virgin will bear a son he never said mary mary made herself available huh the Bible tells us someone was going to betray him, Jesus. He never called Judas. Judas aligned with that prophecy. Prophecy is like rain. If you bring a bucket, you'll get water. Hallelujah. Number one, you must have a childlike heart of a learner. This year, 2011, you must increase your passion for insight. You must increase your passion and this requires meekness and teachability this is the year you throw away arrogance mog mo whatever just throw it away and humble yourself hallelujah when it was time for jesus to give them bread he said tell the people to sit down on the grass that means if you are too big to sit down no bread for you he said if you are interested in eating bread sit down hallelujah it says one thing is needful matter matter you are worried and upset about many things but this one thing is needful to sit not to stand and be staring at the master to sit a position that puts you in ancient times when a rabbi was teaching the people sat down nobody would stand and be listening to a rabbi so this is the year that you will sit down you must have a passion in your heart to learn some of you, even when you come out to pray, the way you are praying, we know you are far from God. You cannot even construct a good spiritual sentence. You just mix everything. You just know that this is, you know how politicians talk. When they come on stage, they try to act like they know God, but their addictions betray them. One of the common things in any culture is their language. Hallelujah. Number two, you must have a resolve. You must have a determination to apply and live by the revealed truth. No matter the price and no matter the temporary challenge. You must have a resolve. A determination to apply and live by the revealed truth. These truths that you are hearing, it will not profit you. Please those outside, make sure you are listening. If you cannot write anything, you can come and meet the media people and they'll give you our messages are free after the meeting. Apply the things. It's not just what you know, but what you know, what you understand and apply. Hallelujah. Apply the truth. No matter the price. No matter the challenge. Number three. You must have a resolve to place God and his agenda this year above every other pursuit, above every other quest, and above every other ambition. You cannot give God second place this year. Hallelujah. So it's a time for you to go back and search. What have you put above God? There are many of us, you love God, you are born again. But for sure, God is not number one. You must make him above all. The true proof of love and passion is commitment. You cannot claim to love a man or a thing and not be committed. Doggedly committed. And let me use the opportunity to encourage you. Join a department. There are many of you that have been sitting here for one year, two years. You just come and find the place clean and you just start laughing. It's not good. You don't know how the chairs are clean. You don't know who swept what. You don't know where they had the rehearsals. And, and you are full of potential and grace. There is a dimension that only kingdom service can take you into. This should be the year. Many of us are afraid of commitment. Because we know we don't want to be serious with God. You don't want a situation where people will probe your life. There are many departments. Make yourself available. Hallelujah. Make yourself available. Huh? 
so just coming to sit inside and sit outside immediately they finish the grace you and your friend you just run away serve the lord with diligence hallelujah number what now four okay just two more resolve to see the glory of god revealed in every area of your life make up your mind that this year i'm not going to celebrate god in one aspect of my life and then have another aspect staring at me that means you must go and write all the areas of your life i have a series on prosperity coming so i'm going to teach on that but let me give you a preview that there are five areas of your life that you must experience prosperity the word prosperity comes from the word prosper it means to do well first is spiritual prosperity second is mental prosperity if you're a billionaire and you are mad you are not that's that's it doesn't make sense is that true number three is your health number four is your finances and number five is your relationships these five areas you must contend and tell god this year i must have rest round about the glory of the lord must be revealed in every one of these areas five resolve to enforce order in every area of your life this is very important many of us are so disorganized this is the year you will grow up in jesus name disorganized in every area of our lives this is the year you bring yourself into a level of decorum have order hallelujah one proof of excellence is order when everything is done decently when everything is done in order order means efficient management of your time your opportunities your resources bring your life under divine order no wasting of time no wasting of resources no wasting of opportunities you must bring your life under divine order hallelujah and finally you must make a determination to spend time with god this year in worship in prayer let seven days not pass let a week not pass that you will not dedicate at least a day in prayer and fasting those who built us spiritually did not teach us that prayer and fasting are part of the tools for efficient spiritual growth so every time we do it a lot of people just say oh, okay let's fast for seven days or 21 days or 30 days or 40 days or 100 days or 200 days and then after that the people now say god i've given you your own share of the year leave the other for me no fasting must be part of your life at least once in a year or once in a week sorry thursdays are a good time to fast can fast on thursdays prepare yourself if you can't fast full day at least fast half day quality half day quality half day don't wake up by 10 and, and pray by it. see you remember the resolutions we are making some of you are already laughing this is the year when you will be serious with god if you want true spiritual power spend time with god in fasting don't let anybody tell you the era of fasting is over and so on and so forth no no Thursdays, for instance, 6 to 12, 6 to 2, 6 to 4, 6 to 6, as God grants you the ability, very soon it will become part of your life. And then you will see the enormous spiritual capacity. He gave unto one five, unto one two, unto one one, not according to their prayer request, according to their ability. The capacity they gave him determined what he gave them. When the man with five increased capacity, he sees it from the person with one and added to him. If you enlarge, when there was no more vessel, the oil stopped flowing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our priority this year as a ministry will be to build, to equip and empower God's people. Even through these meetings, we will keep on doing what we are doing the hand of God is here. By the grace of God, we trust that this year, God will use this ministry in a very mighty way. Hallelujah. That every week will be a time of an unveiling of deep truths 
applicable revelations that you will see transformation in your life i was praying to god and i was i think i was discussing with the welfare i said this year by the grace of god i plan i i, I don't know I, I let me not implicate myself here but i pray that god will help me hallelujah i want to make sure that as much as possible every friday i'm around you see because my primary assignment is not to the nations around my primary assignment is to you first if you are not well fed and i'm around making everybody saying joshua selman koinonia and my own people are dying here reminds me of some of our parents isn't it we'll be dying at home and they are donating money in in foundations and and charities which is good but make sure your own people are well fed you can even add that as part of your goals this year that you will not do anything to anybody outside your family except God instructs that you have not done to the people around hallelujah if you buy chicken for other people then it means that there's chicken in your house if God gives you an instruction it's okay but when you just get up and starve the people in your house to feed other people it doesn't make sense hallelujah praise the Lord we trust God that we will experience healings, deliverance, and restoration and breakthroughs, even through the power of the Holy Spirit. We really want to take advantage of our counselings, our Monday counselings. From this night, officially, we've resumed work. Our counselling, we want to dedicate time to minister to the people. Our Friday programs, Koinonia, School of Ministry, uh, more announcements will come on that but we plan to take the school of ministry very very serious it's a special time we have to train and build our students our external ministration media ministry and so on and so forth we are doing a lot uh, in koinonia this year and as other instructions come by we will comply accordingly hallelujah say after me this is my year of light it's my year of dominion hallelujah are you ready to pray rise up on your feet we're going to take some quality time to pray this is how to establish the prophetic word we're not rounding up we're praying hallelujah i want us to take some time to pray it says this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you war a good warfare what does it mean to war a good warfare in prayer? To say, Lord, I receive. This must be part of my life. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Please, I want you to pray instrumentalist. I hope you're ready. We are going to pray very, very seriously. Very seriously. Lift your voice and begin to thank him for the prophetic word. Say, yeah, of light and dominion. Begin to bless him. Thank you for the word, oh God. Kapo sata kapaka rekeshe baladabash. I believe the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. Make sure you are praying. Outside, everywhere, make sure you are praying. This is between you and God. You are making the word real to you. Lord, is my year of light. My year of insight. Increased insight. Rekete koshota baka pregere balarabash. Sheka baka tabalarabash. I thank you for the word. I thank you for the word. I believe the word. I will see it manifest in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray supernatural insight into scripture. Say, Lord, open my eyes this year. Lift your voice and pray. Open my eyes, oh God. Show me hidden mysteries. Let there be an unfailing, a revelation of deep kingdom mysteries, deep kingdom principles that are responsible for victory, for health, for prosperity that will empower me to be an ambassador in thee 
Open my eyes. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord searching the inward parts of the belly. Open our eyes, O God, that we may behold wondrous things out of your law. Give me revelation. Pray. Paul said, for this cause, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may grant unto you the spirit of revelation and understanding, the eyes of your understanding being flooded with light, that he may know, that he may know. Pray, open my eyes, O oh God. Open my eyes, O oh God. Hallelujah. Insight. That you just pick up your Bible and God will show you something that will set you on your feet. It will show you something that will open you up to a, another world of grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Two years or three years ago, one time I was praying and the Lord showed me a vision and that thing changed my life forever. I saw like a big, like an ancient door and when I looked at it very well, I found out that there were small, small doors that made up that big door and when I came closer, it, it was like they zoomed me and when I came, I found out that on every of those small, small doors, there were scriptures written on it and the lord told me that whatever scripture that truly enters you that door is open unto you that means what is possible for sam uh, may not be possible for Folake. are you seeing that the difference is that the light you are seeing is not sufficient to open that door but the Bible says, I have set before you an open door. No man can shut it. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. We are going to pray for understanding. It's not enough to have insight. Listen, listen. Take this prayer point seriously. You are going to say, Lord, all the principles that are responsible for the various areas of lifting, show me how they work. Show me how they walk. Lift your voice and pray. Show me the keys of wealth, oh God. Show me how to operate it. Show me the keys of the anointing. Show me how to access the fountains of spiritual power. Show me the keys of holiness. Show me the keys of deliverance. Show me the keys that will make me command power even in my family. Make sure you are praying, understanding, and with all you're getting, get understanding. Know how it works. Know how it works. It's not enough to have keys. Know how to apply it for maximum results. Pray. Pray. Show me, oh God the keys show me how to operate it the bible says they know not neither do they understand and so they grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course show me i tell you many of you as you are praying right now god will begin to give you understanding show me the mystery behind the operations of wealth show me the mystery behind the operations of grace show me the mystery what makes the spirit of god become so real to a man show me the secret of church growth the secret of increase the secret of influence the secret of leadership the secret of power the secret of abundance Show me, oh God, the mystery of doing business in deep waters of the Spirit. 
I'm prekete kete banararararara. Rekoto shokoto prekete. Lekata ba 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 ba. Show me, show me, teach me, O oh God. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to pray. Isaiah 48 verse 17. Can we project that? Let's see. I hope I'm right. Lipo shatakata pradika labo se prianda. Everybody read it. You are going to pray and say, Lord, this year, you are going to direct me and my life will experience increase only. He said, I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit. I can teach you how to do it and lead you in the way that you should go. Lift your voice and pray. Rekoto sekata. Divine direction. Let the stars shine. Let the morning stars shine, oh God. Lead me to the place of destiny. Lead me to the next level. I'm tired of confusion. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Go ahead and pray. Maritali, give me direction, oh God. I cry for direction. Financially, give me direction, oh God. Academically, Lead me, O oh God. Let the star arise and let me follow the star. In terms of my career, lead me, O oh God. Rekoto Seketa. Lead me. Show me in my ministry. Show me, O oh God. Show me. Give me direction. Pray illumination by light i am the lord that teacheth thee to profit and lead you show me show me show me oh god where you want me to be what you want me to do who you want me to connect with show me oh god hallelujah hallelujah next prayer point you're going to pray and say lord let a new dimension of unction let a new dimension of power man to my life this year lord i want to move in the anointing in a level of grace he said and he measured a thousand cubits lift your voice and pray a thousand cubits and he was to my ankle for no man can do these things except God be with him. Pray. My horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. And you will anoint me with fresh oil. Because thou hast love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God, had anointed you. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Pray. Lord, I'm moving in the anointing. Pray. This is the year you do business with the anointing. You do your job with the anointing. You minister with the anointing. You conduct your activities under the influence of a heavy unction he says you have an anointing from the holy one and you know all things pray pray worship team pray we minister with the anointing media pray the anointing takes us to another level prayer band pray we are praying with the anointing Regoto Seketa Koinonia pray This is our year of the anointing Inside and outside No matter how far you are 
let that anointing take you walk in signs wonders miracles let the sick be healed through your life let breakthroughs let chains be broken let lives be delivered and restored let sinners be saved let the anointing make you a savior let the anointing make you a deliverer hallelujah 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 two more prayer points and we're done please everybody participate we're establishing the prophetic word right now hallelujah listen this next prayer point is very important you're going to pray listen the bible says arise it says shine and the bible says in daniel i believe 12 or 22 or so i can't remember verse 3 it says and they that be wise shall shine like the firmaments of the heaven and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars even forevermore listen you are going to pray it's not a selfish prayer don't pray for your neighbor you are praying for yourself you're going to say lord display show what you have put in me this year my god let men see the hand of god go ahead and pray unveil it unlock it oh god in 2014 my year of light i manifest i am a city to my family in my department in my faculty in my place of work in my place of business let there be a showing forth. Show forth, oh God. Show forth prosperity through me. Show forth a healthy Christian through me. Show forth holiness through me. Show forth breakthrough through me. Let me become a portrait, an epistle. Show forth. Manifest, oh God. Manifest, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are many of us. This is the year. Your destiny helpers are, so, so, are supposed to see you. Hold on. You are going to pray that that veil that has covered that grace of God in you, that unction, the Bible says there is this treasure. There are many of you. You have been relegated to the background. This is the year. This is the year. Say, Lord, arise in me. Come on, pray. Lord, arise. Let men see you through me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you're looking for a vessel, I'm available. Let me be an epitome of the anointing, an epitome of wisdom, an epitome of wealth and prosperity an epitome of leadership an epitome of power an epitome of revelation pray pray Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters, this prayer is so powerful. There are many of you that have business ideas, but nobody knows. It's an idea that can bless you and stop hunger in your family but nobody knows when light comes it exposes darkness let me show you a scripture galatians 1 galatians 1 let's just look at that one scripture galatians 1 verse 23 and 24 galatians 1 god wants to walk through you not for pride and arrogance are you getting me 
I'm not talking of the kind of lifting and influence that takes you to hell. But they had heard only that he which persecuted us in time past now preached faith which once he destroyed 24. Everybody read it. One to read. And what? How did they glorify God? That means when they saw what God did with my life and they said, Lord, is this what you meant when you said you can bless people? Is this what you meant when you said you can use people? Are you ready to pray this prayer again? Lift up your voice. Say, Lord, I'm available. I'm available. Make a spectacle out of my life. Lord, make a spectacle out of Koinonia in 2014. Dr. Sasso, let there be a display of the glory. Let the nation see we are a city on a hill. They glorified God in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to pray for yourself now and your family. And say, Lord, it's also my year of dominion. Listen, you are going to pray. And say, Lord, I don't just want to chorus this. It must be dominion. Dominion means absolute control. Are you listening to me? Therefore, pray that for you and your family, whatever has mocked God to your face, this is the year it must come under your feet. Lift your voice and pray. Dominion, oh God. Kingdom authority. Pray. Is it finance? Is it a terminal disease? Is it lack of breakthrough? Is it sin? Your family members are not saved. Pray. Get angry in your spirit. Those outside are you praying? Those outside are you praying? Total dominion. No more fibro this year. No more getting sick and getting well. No. Pray. No more prosperity today and poverty tomorrow. You will not be on fire today and backslide tomorrow. No. The part of the joss is as a shining light. It shines brighter, brighter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now you are going to pray for Koinonia. We are going to say, Lord, take us to another level. Take us to another level. Another level of impact. Another level of prosperity. Pair yourselves into three. Pair yourselves into three. Those who are lying down or praying, just leave them. Those who cannot stand, just leave them. I want us to pray seriously. Hallelujah. You're going to say, Lord, lift us up. We're not just asking for fame. We're asking for impact. Salvation transformation come on lift your hands and pray let this place become Bethel the place of bread Bethel the place of bread if you love this ministry pray the ministry is not Joshua Selman the ministry is you Lord, a harvest of souls, a harvest of souls, a harvest of souls, a harvest of souls. Transformation, oh God. Drunkards will come here and become apostles. Prostitutes will come and become prophets. 
your word is mighty and it prevails in our midst your word is mighty and it prevails in our midst this year we experience character we experience excellence at another dimension we experience wealth and prosperity as a ministry at another dimension revival oh god let there be a fire of revival that will spark from here and spread to the nations and spread to cities and spread to campuses and spread pray pray for our friday programs pray for the counselings pray for all our external ministrations pray pray for the miracle services lord let every service be a miracle service beginning from this one let every service be a miracle service let this place become a solution center let this place become a place of authentic miracles authentic signs wonders breakthroughs restoration let the sick come and be healed let blind eyes be healed let incurable diseases be cured let there be a mantle of healing of breakthrough of prosperity may men come here and have their spiritual life fired up fired up passion oh god passion oh god for the things of the spirit this is a place where we infect people with hunger with passion with fire for the things of the kingdom pray this is a place of love no discrimination no discrimination this is a place of love everyone is special everyone is honored we will not teach error in this place hallelujah hallelujah now listen to me we're almost rounding up listen please inside and outside everybody listen please hallelujah i want you to know that in 2014 you are first an ambassador of heaven second you are an ambassador of this ministry are you listening to me that the gentleman who came and testified that he went to preach I'm not the kind of people that does God of this, God of that. I don't have any. We teach kingdom. We give you a kingdom mindset. Are you listening to me? But because you belong to this structure, you must, there are certain, we have a culture. Are you listening to me? We have a culture. You can come as you are, but you do not remain as you are. Something should happen and change you. Hallelujah. We have core values in this place. Our first core value is love. That's why you don't see anybody. We don't say come and sit down because your father is the president or your father is the governor. We don't want to know. Where God grants us opportunity to know, we salute you and then that's all. Hallelujah. So you must contribute in letting the love of God. The first thing that should be seen in your life is love. Not power. Love. You can be anointed and not walk in love. That means this is the year that you maintain your words. The Bible says, let your words be seasoned with salt, that it may minister grace. Make up your mind this year. No gossiping about people. No backbiting. No carrying news left, right, and center. Your job is to love. If somebody does something, go and talk to him, not about him. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? The love of God. He says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. Not when you raise the dead. When you have love one for another. Hallelujah. There is no doubt that you step on one another's toes. So you must, it must be a predefined thing in your heart that you're going to walk in love. 
Because the Bible says there remained these three, faith, hope, and love. He said the greatest is love. Hallelujah. So this is the spirit and the culture that you must have. Your conversations must speak love. When you are angry, keep quiet rather than saying nonsense. Hallelujah. The Bible says, he that does not err, if a man err not in words, that man is a perfect man, able to burdle his tongue. Just say anything, anyhow. Number two, character. Everybody say character. There are many Christian circles where the men of God are just thinking of power. Let me tell you, anointing can take you far, but it's character that will sustain you. Hallelujah. That's the reason why you can see a ministry rise up. They are anointed and then they fall like a leaf because they lack the character. This must be the year you will contend to manifest a Christ-like life. You don't live a life, a dirty, polluted life somewhere and then the only place they just see you in church and people say, ah, ah, even you. Character. It must not be something you fake. It must be a revelation. And that's the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Character. Every, the entire scope of whatever character means to you. When you do something wrong, tell people I'm sorry. Don't say, Debbie, I'm older than you. When I graduated, you just entered secondary school. No, no. Have respect for people. Don't come with village and tribal and cultural mindsets. I'm from a royal family. In a village, I must sit down before others sit. Keep your, you have been called out of every tribe and tongue. Are you getting my point? Listen, let me tell you something. Many of us here are young people and we are, we are, this is a training ground. We are training you not just to be anointed people but to be leaders. So that when you go somewhere you can speak aright. You have a culture. Don't speak anyhow. Hallelujah. Remember you are representing Christ. Especially for as many of us outside. Speak like a believer. Always know that the Holy Spirit is in you. Number three, the anointing. You must contend and let the anointing find expression in your life. It's not enough for you to just come and be blessed. You are, are, are an extension of the ministry. Our job here is to equip you and release you with the power of the Holy Spirit. You should go back to your hostels, go back to your workplaces and legislate on behalf of the kingdom. Not to be jumping and shouting and saying, I'm anointed. Let everybody in this office bow to me. Demonstrate it. When there is breakthrough, when there is wisdom, when there is character. Hallelujah. Number four, this year, you must adopt excellence as a lifetime. Everybody say excellence. We must keep contending. It's one of the things I told the leaders. And we'll still talk more during our retreat. Hallelujah. Excellence. Excellence is not about an expensive life. Excellence is an organized life. Are you following me now? Excellence from your personal hygiene to everything about your life. There are some of us who are born again, but we are so dirty. You are so dirty. This is the one weakness. This is where the devil is cheating you. This year you must repent. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't just laugh. Excellence. Hallelujah. Your words, your words, you must pray this year. Those dirty, godless films that keep putting satanic dictions, you must get them out of your life because you are a man on a mission. Don't say anything and say, this is the slang invoke. This is a kingdom. This is a culture. Hallelujah. Jadel sang and said, this is my culture. You have a culture. Don't go ahead. They, they see you in, in, in the market and you are speaking as if, as if you, are, you are never born again. Even in your joke, joke the word. Speak the word. I'm saying this to you because many of you are emotional now. Immediately you step out of here, you almost want to do something. You just remember, ah. Don't do things because of men. Do it because God Almighty is watching you. But much more than that, that he desires to use you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Think before you talk. Don't just say everything. Even what does not concern you. This is how many people put themselves into trouble. You go and choke your mouth into people's businesses and enter their trouble too. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's very, very important. So let this year be different. Say, I'm a light. Say it, I'm a light. No offense, no unforgiveness, no God forbid, no over my dead body. All those demonic languages, pack them and throw them outside. This is a new season. Even when, see, people will mock you, whether in your workplace or your department. Let them mock you until they see what you become. They are only mocking you because they are intimidated by the light that is shining. Hallelujah. When somebody talks against you, bless you. When they think you are coming to defraud them, you say, bless you. I heard what you said. I'm not happy, but I love you. I belong to a government. Are you following me now? Not the year of saying, let me meet with him and you will know. I asked you from the beginning, can two walk together? So are you ready? See, this is it. If you are ready to walk with God, you will see his hand. But if you, are, if you don't see the hand of God this year, it's not God's fault. For me, I told God, I said, Lord, whatever it takes, I'm ready to walk with you. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you now. I want you to believe it. I want you to believe it. I told God, I said, Lord, I'm more committed than ever before to serve your people. And I'm saying it before everyone. My, my primary assignment, listen, my primary assignment is you. You. Whenever you talk of koinonia, think of yourself. Don't think of Joshua Selman or the leaders in the ministry. No. Hallelujah. Without you, we have no ministry. Hallelujah. And I pray to God. I said, Lord, I'm ready to make sure that all that you have put in me, let your people receive it. Hallelujah. Before we go and we are traveling around and blessing other people, and then you are hearing of the mighty things that God is doing with us in other places, and you are wondering, oh Lord, I'm so close. And I'm not receiving anything. I told God, I said, Lord, if I never go for any ministration, this is why we are opening up the doors for counseling and all of, all of these avenues. We are restructuring the leadership to allow us to have access. In fact, I was talking with somebody and my heart was bleeding. I said, this year I will make sure I have time for the workers. There are many times that many of you want to see me, but because of how busy we are, I told myself, I said, look, not only will I be a leader or have an apostolic ministry, this year I want to be a father. I don't want people sitting down and dying and then we are there. Let me tell you, even if the whole Nigeria is talking about us and you are not getting blessed, we have failed. This is what people like Johnson Suleiman will call public success and private failure. Are you getting my point? Even if they say this ministry is not being impactful, if you are being blessed, we are fulfilled because you are our primary assignment. And so I'm telling you again on behalf of myself and the leadership of this ministry, we are committed. We will keep fasting. We will keep praying until you become all that God has destined for you to be. Even before anybody. So please and please, I want you to relax and know that you are not all of you. I'm speaking to everybody, even those outside. We don't have second class citizens in Koinonia. Are you listening to me? We don't have favorites. No. We love people based on our assignment. It will have to make us interact with more people than others. But let me tell you something. Everybody in this ministry has a right to be heard, has a right to see me. I'm not one superman in myself somewhere. Are you following me now? Because I know that I need to say this because many of you may have been feeling, I know that there are some of you, I remember one day a lady tried calling me and I just woke up in the night and I decided that the next day I was going to call her. When I picked, I called her, this lady shouted, she could not believe she dropped the phone. You understand? She was surprised. Her pursuit, I think she was telling her mother. For many of you, that's nice. You feel like a celebrity based on God's standard. That is, that is very bad of a leader. 
I can't promise seeing everybody where you want. Don't wake me when I'm sleeping because I made a commitment to help. I still have my sense, all right? I won't pick your call. Praise God. But then I'm saying there is a system. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, I've made up my mind that we will have special counseling sessions for the workers. Special, just the workers, one by one by one. One by one. You see, everybody pray with you. If you are not a worker, these are some of the things you are missing. Praise God. Hallelujah. There are privileges that our leaders must receive. For instance, the heads of department cannot book for counseling. It's an insult. Why will my leaders book for counseling to come and see me? You see that? So don't be offended if you have to book for counseling. I promise you we'll stay as long as possible to meet your needs. Are you following me now? And some of your family members... If you try to call me and I don't pick, by God's grace, we are going to announce, we are strategizing. In fact, there are a few new departments we are creating to make sure that we meet the needs of everybody. That even if it's a text you send, you will be responded to. So just cooperate with us. We are improving. This year will be better than last year in Jesus' name. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. You too, you must be ready to cooperate. Look at me. I've said my own part. What I'm committed to do to you. You must be committed. Your own part of commitment is don't frustrate our sacrifice. Receive what we are teaching. Let it not enter one ear and go out there. Put it to work. Hallelujah. And be evangelist. Say, do the work of an evangelist. Invite people. Not just people who are not serious. People who really, 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 really need help and need God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for 2014. Please make sure you lift your hands, especially those outside I'm watching. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless you with the blessings of heaven. I bless you with the presence of God. I bless you with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you that even as you begun in this space, you will sustain this space to the end of the year. I rebuke death we will not mourn the death of anybody this year in the name of Jesus Christ therefore any covenant that anyone has with death anywhere they have said they must bury you this year we cancel that report now in the name of Jesus Christ I command that the scepter of dominion come upon your hand that as you leave this place you will begin to reproduce what you are seeing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ let the doors of wealth be open unto you let the doors of influence be open up to you I pray that this year your prayer life will enter another dimension your word life will enter another dimension I pray that the spirit of true holiness will come upon you this year in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray that the Lord will make your feet like hinds feet that you will run and overtake everyone that has gone ahead of you I pray for you that before you pray this year before you even make mention of it may the Lord answer you may the Lord hear you in the day of trouble I pray for your businesses. I command them to prosper. I command them to flourish. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord grant you the desires of your heart. I pray that the anointings and the graces God has put upon this ministry, let them find expression in your life. Everywhere you go this year, you are favored. You are favored, favored with God, favored with men. In the name of Jesus. All those who have planned to put you down, they are the ones who will celebrate your lifting this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command that you are preserved. You enjoy the ministry of angels. And I pray for you that this gift of God that is in you, that not even you will be able to hide it this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let those who need what you carry look for you. You will not look for them this year. I compel them to look for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the mighty hand of God go with you. 
I pray for you wisdom. Exams is starting when? On Monday. Lift your hands. I pray. Whether you are writing exams or not, lift your hands. Whether you are a student or not, you can connect for people. It's a corporate anointing here. I pray for you. Especially for final year students. Any power that says you must come back to this school, we cancel it right now. For those of you who need the mercy of God to graduate, we command that mercy right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every lecturer that has vowed to keep you must let you go this time around. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you supernatural intelligence. Let a mantle of intelligence come upon you. I prophesy upon you, pursue, overtake, recover all. Everything, though some of you are trusting God to enter 2-2, two, two, to enter 2-1, and this is the last exam that will determine it. I pray like Samson, may the hand of God come upon you and may you do wonders. I bless your exams. This is the best exam you have ever written. In the name of Jesus, your papers will not be missing. In the name of Jesus, and for those still trusting God for admission, it's not over. I hope you know. I prophesy that the, the God on the third day, He said, If any man thirst, let him come. There are some of you who have concluded you did not see your name. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, let the beauty and the glory of God arise in you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I want to invite all those very quickly. A few minutes and we'll be out. Please keep standing. I know you've tried. Keep standing, please. Let's honor those who are coming. There are many of you outside and a number of you inside who have never made a decision for Jesus Christ. Some of you, this is your first night. Some of you are the students who got admission. You just came excited. Please listen. Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. It's my honor to invite you tonight to tell you that you can stop the struggle. There is a better life. There is a higher life. He said, I am come that ye may have life and have it more abundantly. Therefore, right now, I want to invite as many who want to give their hearts to the Lord. You are saying, help me tonight. I want to be reconnected to God. Or some of you who have made that decision before, but you know that you have derailed and you want the Lord to begin a new experience with you tonight. As I count one to five, I want you to, don't be ashamed outside and inside. I want you to come and stand right here and I'll lead you to the Lord Jesus Christ. One. God bless you. God bless you. Don't wait for anybody. Don't wait for anybody to come. Inside, outside, God bless you. Don't sit back. It's time to make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. Don't struggle with him. Bless you. Keep clapping. Two. I believe there are more people coming. For those coming, please hurry up outside. Don't let your friends stop you. This is the beginning, especially if this is your first time of being here or coming to Zaria. Don't be ashamed. There's nothing to be ashamed about. You want to give your heart to Jesus or to dedicate your life. Three, I perceive there are still a number of people outside. Please, let's keep clapping for them as they come. I perceive there are a number of people outside. The Lord is speaking to you. Don't argue with him leave your friends this is the beginning of the best days of your life keep coming god bless you keep coming god bless you hallelujah thank you so much for all of you who have come i really appreciate your coming this is the beginning of mighty times in your life in jesus name lift your right hand and say after me lord jesus i believe in you I believe you died for me. I believe you shed your blood for me. Today, I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. I declare 
that I receive eternal life into my spirit. I'm a child of God. I'm saved. My name is in the Lamb's book of life. From today, I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. I denounce sin and Satan in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for these ones that you have brought. Bless them. Honor them. Let this be the beginning of mighty transformations in their lives. They will never remain the same. Use them for your glory. Spirit of God, I commit them into your hands. Build them. Make mighty ambassadors out of them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for making this decision. Please just follow the lady. The lady waving her hands. She's smiling at you. Just follow. If you're worshiping with us for the first time, this is your first time inside and outside. Please run like a champion that you are and come out. We love you. We want to welcome you and pray for you. God bless you. God bless you. Everybody, quickly, quickly, please. Those outside, you're worshiping with us. If there's anybody seated who is worshiping with us for the first time, please ask them to come out. God bless you, sister. Any other person? If you're coming from outside, please hurry up. God bless you. Thank you. Koinonia, celebrate them. Celebrate them. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. God bless you. We understand some of you are 100 level students. Congratulations. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Keep coming. Clap for them. They clap for you when you came. Clap for them. Wow. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. It's good to see these faces. Some of you are definitely new. New to Zaria. New to Koinonia. We have a way of knowing. Praise God. It's, it's one of the gifts of the Spirit. We always know. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Is it not amazing that with the millions of people in this city, when you see new faces, you know. Somehow, you just know that it's good to have every one of you. This is Koinonia. Hallelujah. A meeting put together by Eternity Network International. Thank you for coming. You are very special to us. And we appreciate you. I think we'll soon find, well, I don't want to say we'll find a song. You people, uh, there are some things I don't trust you on. So, people should not embarrass me. Well done. This is Koinonia. <laughs> we love ourselves. And um, this is a piece of what we do here. We pray that God will increase you. Hallelujah. If we bless you, you are blessed. And we want to bless you right now. Stretch your hands, saints of God, and let's prophesy. Thank you, Father, for bringing them. They are special. You will make mighty men and women out of them. Thank you because they will excel in their academics, in their career, in their endeavors. Thank you because um, you're putting a passion for the things of the spirit in them. Whatever challenge you came here with, we command that it melts away. And we declare in the name of Jesus that this is the beginning of mighty things in your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.